Hi, Jonathan Pickup. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also, if you want to get notifications, don't forget to click on the notifications bell. I was teaching someone the other day about doing roofs, and they said to me, this is a complex roof, and how could they do it in Vectorworks? Actually, the, the roof I've got is not too difficult, but I showed them a trick that I use quite a lot. If we use a rectangle tool and we can trace over an object, now the, the object that I was tracing over was a PDF, so I couldn't use my normal trick of the filling that, you know, using that fill. So I can't use that technique. But the trick I was going to use was to create roof faces. I'm going to create a roof face. I know what my X is Z is. It's about eight feet high. The angle is about 25 degrees. Uh, I think in this case it was a rise over run, which was five and 12. And the thickness was about six inches. Um, I think when we measured it, it could have been closer to 12 inches. So let's make it 200 millimeters. So I could choose a roof style if I wanted. I haven't got one that I want to use. So I'm just going to make an existing house. It's just got a very simple roof. It's going to have an eave cut, which was square for this case. You can have double, square, horizontal, and so on. And the hole cut, there weren't any holes, so I'm not going to worry about that. So what I need to do now is I need to indicate the pitch line, where the roof meets the wall. And then I need to indicate which side is up, so I can go there. I've actually customized my workspace. So what I tend to do is I use my polygon tool, trace over the roof area, right click, and I've added roof face to my right mouse click. So it's right there, then I can go enter, um, and then I can click on that line there and then go up. And then I don't have to leave that tool, I can carry on, just make sure you're neat and tidy, so it says end point. And each time I get to a corner, I'm going to click until I get to this point here, and then I hit the K key to close it, and that's a quick way to close your polygon. Right click, roof face again, and I usually use the enter key. Now if you can't see your pitch line, don't forget the B key. You can hold the B key down and there's my next roof. So now I can go around my roof. And K to close. Right click, roof face, enter and there's my line there. So that's a reasonably quick way to go around the entire house. I think that what really speeds this up is that right click where I can go roof face. And I don't have to leave my view, I don't have to change what I'm looking at, and then up there. So it's just a quick way to go around the house. Quite often you've got a, a, an idea of a roof in mind and you can draw the lines like we used to do in the old days to where you want the roof to work. This is a great way of creating the roof that you want without waiting for Vectorworks to create it for you. So we need that line there and going up that way. Now because I've drawn this with lines, I can use the polygon tool and I can also use it in the um, inner boundary mode or the paint pot mode. And that'll allow me to create my pieces. So I can click there, shift click there, right click, Let's go roof face, same size, there it is there, go up, click there, click there, right click, roof face, okay, and there's my pitch line there, click there, click there, right click, roof face, okay, and there's my line there, and so on. It does become really quick if you use those two techniques. So that's my tip for today is to customize your workspace. So let me just show you how I did that. Down here, customize, there's a little utility menu here. Choose customize. Here's my workspace. I'm looking at menus and I'm looking at object context. And so I just added the roof face to that. So let's just find roof face. Should be under AEC. Roof face, let's just drag that in there. Roof face. So you can see I've got floor, roof face, create roof, and I've also got create objects from shapes up here. And I've also added the create viewport because I use that quite a lot. Click OK, and that will add that menu to your workspace. 
Now you could do it the other way and you could go to the AEC and you could go roof face and you could add a keyboard shortcut, which is what I used to have. But then it meant taking my hand off the mouse and doing my keyboard shortcut and then coming back to it. Anyway, that's my tip for today. Don't forget to check out my knowledge base. We have regular monthly meetings. We have manuals. We have things like organization movies, landscape movies, architectural movies. There are loads of movies on here and every month we get together for online webinars where you can ask the questions that you need answered.